You know, in the Bible, there's a story where Jesus uh, touched this blind man. So when he touched this blind man, uh, when he touched him, the, the man could see, but he was not seeing clearly. Then this man, Jesus, he touched him again, and he was able to see clearly. So we're trusting God for another touch of his spirit. We want him to revive us again. I don't know where, where, what areas of your life that are not functioning well. The Things have changed, but things have not really aligned to the level that you want. You know, in this season where God is going to revive us again, God is calling us for us to be desperate. We need to be desperate to say, Lord, touch us. Lord, we want to encounter. I want to know more of you. You know, knowledge is a multiplier of grace. As we get to know more of the word, as we settle on the word of God, as we settle on prayer, as we continue to pray, you know, his grace continues to abound. His grace continues to increase. So as we are trusting God for another touch, God is calling us to be people who are separated. Be separated. This is a time where you need to assess your life, where we need to live 100% for him, where we need to daily work out our salvation so that the power of God can flow through us. May God touch you again. May God touch your studies again. May God touch your marriage again. May God touch every area of your life. Maybe your business, it needs another touch. I'm trusting God for a revival. I'm trusting God for your miracle and for your breakthrough. Otherwise, have a wonderful, wonderful day.